Welcome to TOL Season 10, Week 4, and we got a good one here for you, folks. We've got the Willow Grove Road Warriors versus Flying High, the Philadelphia Eagles-themed team. So this is a team that a game that I have much interest in, as most of you probably know at this point. Um, probably my best friend is the owner of the Willow Grove Road Warriors. Um, and uh, I taught him everything he knows. So his team's off to a good start. Just remember, I taught him everything he knows. And they're going up against Flying High, which is in my division. And they were off to a hot start. And then I <laughs> barely escaped thanks to an unpaid player, Blinky Smoochie, in one of my favorite TOL games of all time. Got a little turnover luck there, so I'm not sure that... Uh, I'm still going to be able to stay ahead of these guys. So I have a vested interest in rooting for the Willow Grove Road Warriors. However, I'm also a big Eagles fan, so I really like the theme here. So a lot going on here. Ask Bobby if I could have this one. He said yes, and we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. And Jalen McHurts is back. I don't think that's actually all that important. A.J. McBrown is back. That might be more important. Um... Just because Nick Foles was in last week and he played really well. Uh, now that is also the only game they lost, so. Um, interesting, we'll see. So, anyways, all right. So, why McLeft in for the kick? I, uh, I don't know why the Mick part. I don't know where that comes from. Um, so... Here's Duck Boy, who was a highly paid explosive RB2 last season, but with the restrictions on the playbook this year, got the squeeze. Here's the Wiffle Boy clone going for that sneak up the middle. Goes nowhere. Throws this one out of bounds, so we're already at third and long for a run-based offense, although they, uh, they have some talent at that wide receiver one. Wow, Robert McQuinn getting in there. This team needs some updates because Robert Quinn's not on the Eagles anymore. But um, it should be uh, Hassan McReddick. But anyway, okay, so here's Mick Sanders. Makes a move, gets by somebody. Sw oh, fumble! Picked up by... Oh, speaking of Duck Boy, can't get it done as part of the offense, but gets it done on special teams. So that's the first big break, and they're going to run this play again. Gets a little help from a blocker this time, but still doesn't go anywhere. So probably shouldn't call that one too much today. This defense is ready for it. And they say, fuck you. We're going to go right back to it. Third and ten. Again, third and long here. Oof, there is defenders in the backfield. This is uh, this offensive line not playing up to speed. But I guess... You know, anybody would have trouble with that Eagles defensive front. So, uh, this is going to be a touchback. This end zone still looking good. Both these teams doing good with the unis. Fake handoff. Whoa. Throws it nowhere close to anybody. Second and ten. And McHertz picks up. A yard. So third and nine. This looks like it could be a defensive battle here. Oh, he's going to take off. No, he's not. Devontae Smith. Dude, I love this guy. Like, the real Devontae Smith. If you guys get a chance to watch some Eagles games, he's just... I mean, I guess everybody knows him from Alabama winning the Heisman. But, man, he's, like, small, but he's tough, man. He's a tough dude for somebody who's small. All right. Speaking of tough, there goes Jalen Hurts. And it's now first and ten. Right up the gut. So they've had a little bit, they're having a little bit more luck with their up the gut. Of course, the Eagles would have success running the ball right up the middle with Jalen Hurts. <laughs> it's like their best play in the real season. And there he, I mean, there was no hesitation. Man, he's in. Touchdown. And I hate to do this to you, Dave, but I have to. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Fight, Eagles, fight. 
score a touchdown. One, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high, and watch our eagles fly. Fly, eagles, fly on the road to victory. So, got to do it when Jalen Hurts scores a touchdown. Wiffle boy, open. Oh, what a cool play. Three defenders dive around him. And because these uh, speeds are capped this year, not able to take it to the house. But a great throw, great catch by the Wiffle boy. Got his check down open. Goes to Sid instead. Poor choice. Cyclone Sid not able to come down with it. Should have gone for the check down. Poor decision by Wiffle Boy Clone. Speaking of poor decisions. Oh, all right. Get six on that one. Not so bad. For some reason, they do not want to run it to Wiffle Boy today. They're like, we'll do anything but what our team's best at. Oh, no. Goal line interception. CJ, GJ, another guy who's not on the Eagles anymore. Costly, costly mistake. Missed the dive. AJ Brown is open. Comes down with it. So this is like mostly current Eagles. And I think there's like flashes of old Eagles. I'd like to see uh, Harold Carmichael get in there. The back of Mike Quick. Oh, yeah, Mike Quick was awesome. Tommy McDonald, Hall of Famer. Good hop. Tommy, Tommy Mick McDonald. It fits the theme, too. Come on, Aaron. Next year, Tommy Mick McDonald. There goes Jalen Hurts. Man, they just do not have an answer for him. Is he going to drag this dude all the way to the end zone? Dude bet squats 600 pounds. Hard to, hard to bring him down. And this is going to be the sneak right behind Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey leads the way. Touchdown. Jalen McHurts. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Fight, Eagles, fight. Score a touchdown, one, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high. And watch our Eagles fly. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Hey, what do you know? They're actually going to run the ball to Wiffle Boy. Nice pickup. Is not able to break it away. Oh, Red Rooster. Right in the Red Rooster plane. He caught it in traffic. Another first down. So I'd say they are in trouble down 14 nothing here. But after watching what happened between Mike Petrasic and Joe Mitchell in week three... Uh, no lead in the first half feels safe. As uh, King Radnar went on Matt Ryan on him. Gimme McCox. I feel like Fletcher Cox has been underrated for a long time. He's not as good as Aaron Donald. Okay, so don't come at me saying that's what I said. But I think they're actually... Ooh, man. Red Rooster played. Not coming down with it. Fletcher Cox is... In the league with Aaron Donald, it doesn't get talked about him a tenth as much. You know, it's weird the way the sports media works. Like, they talk about quarterbacks, and then they just pick, like, a select few defensive players. And, like, that's it. Those, oh, fumble! Oh, goes out of bounds. So, there's a break. The, the Road Warriors got the first big break, but that was a break for flying high. Again, going with their favorite play. McHurts up the middle. Dropping back. Nobody covering A.J. Brown again. Ooh, but pressure. Right, can they get a stop? Well, they got a stop, I guess, on the first drive, right? Can they get another stop here? Oh, nice play. I don't know who that was. That may have been the Colossus of Sardia, maybe. Um, nicely done. So here comes the Duck Boy back on punt return duty. And brings it up to the 35. Lack lots of return. But if they can get a score here, they they feel pretty good. They can go into the half knowing that things did not go their way, and they still came up. Oh, here's the Wiffle Boy again. That's been their best play so far. Um, pretty much any time you have a well-paid RB1, because it's such a cheap passing play, and it, it, gets, it gives up a lot of sacks, but it... Uh, 
you can really hit it big time on, on certain occasions. So, all right, Wiffleboy Clone's got some blockers. Takes an odd running angle, but actually works really well. So, sort of sets up those blockers. We get mad when these guys run ahead of their blockers, so he does a little jig-jag to confuse the defense. Give this blocker some time to get set. I'm impressed. Nice run by the clone. Wiffleboy picks up two. It's now second and eight. And again, they're going to clone again. He's got some blockers. This time he's getting ahead of him, but because he's got a lot of green ahead of him. Third and two. Really big play here. I don't want to have to settle for a field goal, but can't afford another goal line turnover either. The pitch is to their star, Wiffle Boy. He gets the first. Oh, but not the touchdown. Those first couple wiggles were good, but then he may have over wiggled. Yeesh, that was not good. Johnny McSack. Yeah, get Chuck Benerick in there. He's the greatest linebacker of all time. Pitch out to Wiffle Boy. Oh, can't get it done. So they picked up that crucial third down, and now they're in worse shape than they were before that play. Oh, he's got some room. He's got some blockers. Can he get that edge? He does! Woo! Wiffle Boy! Takes it to the house, 13-6. to six. And they could make it a six-point game with this extra point and it's good so 13 to 7 we got a barn burner here for you Nick Sander says hold on it's not halftime yet suckers don't count me out yet first and 10 Hertz rolls out it's got somebody he also had pressure. Oh, goes to the check down to McCrazy. One second left, and that's dangerous. This is definitely a big play offense here. So, oh, they just call the play. Oh, and McHertz goes down. You know when you have that many quarterback runs, you're going to get some injuries. But as I mentioned early in the game, Big Dick McNick is uh, more than qualified Although, I guess there will be some pressure on him. If he loses this one, it'll be two games in a row that uh, he cost them, even if his individual play is good. Oh, there's my girl, Blinky Smoochie. Clutch. She called her Blinky Clutch Mc... Smoochie because she delivered at the end of that game. I still can't believe that happened. Unpaid, completely unpaid. And she was just making catches, scored the game-winning touchdown. It was awesome. All right, so here comes Big Dick McNick. And see, I mean, they just, he doesn't look really any slower than, than Hurts. Second and 10. That was a great play by that linebacker. I don't know if that's the Wolf. The Wolf had an incredible game week two. Oh, Big Daddy Kane delivers. Um, it's now third and 15. Pass is blocked. All right, so that's what the Road Warriors needed. Now they need to step up and uh, put another offensive drive together. They've had two pretty good drives. Just one was that costly turnover. So can they put together another drive like they did to close out the half? Oh, Duck Point coughs it up. Big McV is going to slowly waddle into the end zone. Fly, Eagles, fly. I don't have the, I don't have it in me to sing it again. Oh, I need this game. The kick is good, and so now we're at 20 to 7. And Duck Boy gets the ball right back. Can he hold on to it this time? Brings it up to the 29. So now the Warriors really have their work cut out for them. Red Rooster is open. Ugh. Throws it into coverage instead. Second and ten. Boy goes for on the wide sweep. Runs over a couple. Wow! Runs over a whole bunch of people. Will this guy dive or not? That's the only question left to be seen. Does not miss a dive. So, oh, Whistle Boy coughs it up. But it goes out of bounds. So, only going to hurt him on the stat sheet. 
Right, first and ten. Makes the handoff. Oh, that was weird. It looked like he was safe, and then he kind of just popped out. Uh, but very costly, even though they didn't lose the ball. Second and 23. They've got fumbleitis going on like crazy here. Oh, but Brad Dole, old reliable, bald meathead Brad Dole. He's actually Dr. Brad Dole. A legitimate medical doctor. One of our friends growing up. Fourth and seven, and they are going to kick the field goal to make it a 10-point game. If they make it. Which they do. 20 to 10. Almost birds of paradise. Kicks it off. All right, it's first and ten. Oh, can't get the diving play. Oh, intercepted! Papa Dole, so Brad's father, Mr. Dole, Daniel Dole. Wow, now they've got some momentum. They're still in this one. Wide sweep to Wiffle Boy. All right, picks up three. Not a bad play, not what you're looking for, but not terrible. Got a little bit of time. That check down, he just does not want to throw that check down. It's there almost every time. Just give the man the ball. The boy's got some room. Can he get the corner? He does! Whiffle boy! Whiffle boy! Whiffling his way, and now with this extra point, we'll make it a three point game. Good. 20-17. Now there's a little pressure here on the Flying Mackay. Brought down. So let's see what Nick can do. He's got to be sweating under the collar a little bit. People were talking about how he's no longer a winner after losing his big game last week. They call this play gobbled up. Now third and 16. Hoo-wee. The road wire is firing on all cylinders now. Can they get the stop? McCrazy. Interception! Dennis Parkinson. Neighbor growing up with his big goofy ass hat. Wow. The Warriors are really feeling good about themselves. Looking for Pennsylvania State Supremacy. The one time he actually throws the check down is the one time there's a guy sitting right there. Hurts, you gotta have better decision making than that, pal. Oh, that, that swing pass. Not quite there. Now third and eight. Now that field goal would tie it. Wiffle boy, is he gonna just throw? Oh, gets it knocked down. Fourth and eight. Long field goal. This would tie the game. A miss here and... Flying high will get all that. Oh, no, it seems like it's about as perfect a kick as you can make. Right through the uprights. 20 to 20. We got 20 20 vision here. Tie game. The Road Warriors. Our, our Road Warriors in this particular case. Oh, another nice diving. We've seen a couple of nice diving tackles from both teams. Nick rolling out, keeps rolling. See, now maybe that's the difference. Maybe he's a step slower than Hertz because I feel like Hertz was breaking those and Nick gets caught. A lot of defenders at the point of attack. Now a big third and three. Whew. Oh, they call the sneak to Foles. That would never happen in real life. Jason Kelsey would not allow them to take a loss on a sneak. Jason Kelsey... Hall of Fame. I know it's not sexy to put offensive linemen in the Hall of Fame, but Kelsey's been the best center in the league for about 15 years. I don't care how boring the offensive line is. If you've got a player that's been that good for that long, you put him in the Hall. Plus, he has his ring, too. So. Wiffle boy. Picks up seven. They've had fumbleitis so far today. Can they hold on to the ball? 
keep it secure. Red Rooster. Oh, I thought that might be out of his reach. The offensive coordinator calls the Red Rooster play, and he's able to take it down to the three. Oh, now just don't fumble the ball. Oh, my goodness. I thought Hertz was going to throw another goal line interception. Or, I mean, clone, not Hertz. He does. Un. Unbelievable. What are they doing? Fire the offensive coordinator. What are they doing? It's like Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Just can the ball off. Wiffle Boy is a former MVP. Just give him the ball. Oh, no. AJ Brown. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that. They just had first and goal from the seven. And they went from that to giving up a 90-yard bomb to Big Dick McNick. I cannot believe what I'm watching. All right. Somebody from the World Warriors has got to step up and make a big play. Minute 25. Just trying to force overtime. See what they do. Do they give it to Whiffle Boy? Red Rooster catches it in traffic, moving things along. That's what they needed to start the, uh, the big drive here. Because Whistle Boy, oof, breaks one tackle and they get stuck. Red Rooster with a jump and catch. Oh, they're not going to get Touchdown, Road Warriors. And now they're just one point away. And if you don't like me, then you can just go eat my bagel. 27 27. Woo wee. Yippity skippity. Tie game. Tackled. Whew. 32 seconds. We know they can strike big and deep. McCrazy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. could have been another interception. Second and 10. Well, they got him wrapped up. Can they bring him down? They do. Mother! Do you want to find hair with me, mother? All right, please do not fall over. I hate to prevent you. Oh, they're just going to go with Foles. So, they'll take it to overtime. This is the first overtime game I've called this season. Exciting stuff. Oh, flying high wins the ever important toss. So, the Warriors will have to kick. Birds of Paradise sets it up. There it goes. Maybe I should just make that noise every time the ball's kicked. It could be like one of my new signature things. Cough it up. All right, first and 10 from their own 12-ish. Foles has time. Goes across the middle into traffic incomplete. Second and 10. Boom! Big Daddy Kane sticks him. It's now third and 16. The Warriors pinning their ears back. Can he get him on a safe? No. Oh, oh, McCrazy. Brought down, and they are forced to punt. The Warriors' defense does what it has to do. Can Duck Boy hold the ball? Hold the ball, Duck Boy. He does. Now, will they be smart enough to just hand the ball to Wiffle Boy? Are they going to overthink this? Oh, receiver was open for too much pressure from that hardy front seven. Misses the dive, throws it to the Red Rooster, jumps up and makes the catch. The Red Rooster brings it into the red zone. 
And they are, oh, they're just going to kick the field goal now. Ah, I would have tried to get better field position, but here we go. Game on the line. Oh, it might be low. I think he missed it. It's good! It's good! The Road Warriors come back from way down. Woo-wee! Combination. Wow, the red... Rooster ends up leading the game and receiving yards. What a game. What a game for both teams. I think we might see this game in the postseason. Whew. That was awesome. What a comeback. Overtime had everything. Defense, special teams, offense. It was, it was just a rocking good time, folks. That's what we're here for, TOL.